The Federal Office for the Protection of the Constitution is the Federal Domestic Intelligence Agency of the Federal Republic of Germany. Together with the Landesämter für Verfassungsschutz at the state level, the office is tasked with intelligence gathering on threats concerning the democratic order, the existence and security of the Federation or one of its states, and the peaceful coexistence of peoples, with counterintelligence, and with protective security and counter sabotage. The BFE reports to the Federal Ministry of the Interior. The President is Thomas Haldenwang, he was appointed in 2018. The BFE is overseen by the Federal Ministry of the Interior as well as the Bundestag, the Federal Commissioner for Data Protection and Freedom of Information and other federal institutions. The Federal Minister of the Interior has administrative and functional control of the BFE. Parliamentary control is exercised by the Bundestag in general debate. Question times and urgent inquires, as well as by its committees, most notably the Parliamentary Control Committee and the G10 Commission. The BFE is also under judicial control and all its activities can be legally challenged in court. Based on the right of information, the general public can direct inquiries and petitions at the BFE. Unlike some intelligence agencies of other countries, the agents of the German intelligence services, including the BFE, have no police authority. This is due to the history of abusive police power in previous regimes. In particular, they are not allowed to arrest people and do not carry weapons. BFE headquarters in Cologne BFE headquarters in Berlin The BFE is based in Cologne. It is headed by a president and two vice presidents and organized in 12 departments. In 2019 federal funding for the BFE was 399 million euros, with a toll of 3. 864 staff members employed. While the BFE uses all kinds of surveillance technology and infiltration, they mostly use open sources. The BFE publishes a yearly report which is intended to raise awareness about anti-constitutional activities. Main concerns of the BFE are, the BFE employed civil servants. As in the rest of the federal service, the careers for civil servants are divided into simple, middle, upper and higher service. All employees must go through an extended security check with security investigations before they can work in the BFE. It's the highest security check in Germany. The BFE trains its staff for the middle and higher service itself, together with the BND. For the middle service the training conveys the theoretical knowledge and methods as well as the practical professional knowledge and skills that are required for the fulfillment of the tasks in the middle service in the Federal Office for the Protection of the Constitution. In addition, the training should enable the candidates to act responsibly in a liberal, democratic and social constitutional state. This also includes the ability to recognize and classify potential dangers for the security of the Federal Republic of Germany in a national and international context. The subject areas of the theoretical training are operational procurement and observation, operational information analysis, state and constitutional law, criminal law, laws on the intelligence services and other laws relating to intelligence services. International politics and forms of political extremism, security fields relating to intelligence services, in particular self-security, counter-espionage, intelligence psychology, foreign language training as well as household, cash and accounting. The training takes place at both the SNAF and the UF. In a close connection between science and practice, the upper service conveys the scientific methods and knowledge as well as the practical professional skills and knowledge that are required for the fulfillment of the tasks in the higher service and the federal constitution protection. In addition, it lays the foundation for a cross-agency knowledge and method base. The course is intended to promote cooperation between the intelligence services and contribute to the standardization of intelligence work. In the basic course, legal, constitutional, political, business, economic, financial and social science fundamentals of administrative action are taught, as well as organization and information processing. Topics of the main course are operational procurement and observation, intelligence service information evaluation, state, administrative, criminal, international and European law, international politics and the history of political ideas as well as forms of political extremism. Internal security, counter-espionage, intelligence psychology, foreign language training and intelligence service relevant topics from business and technology. A thesis has to be written during the preparatory service. The training takes place at both the SNAF and the UF. Above all, the BFE offers fully qualified lawyers entry into the higher non-technical administrative service as a junior executive with direct employment as a civil servant. An indirect predecessor of the Federal Office existed already in the Weimar Republic from 1920 to 1929, 
the Federal Commissioner for Monitoring of the Public Order. In the course of drafting the basic law for the Federal Republic of Germany the military governors of the Tri-Zone outlined the competences of federal police and intelligence. In accordance with this outline the BFE was established on November 7, 1950. At first the BFE was mostly concerned with neo-Nazism and communist revolutionary activities. Soon the BFE also became involved in counter-espionage. From the beginning, the BFE was troubled by a number of affairs. First, in the Vulcan affair in April 1953, 44 suspects were arrested and charged with spying on behalf of East Germany, but were later released as the information provided by the BFE was insufficient to obtain court verdicts. Then, in 1954 the first president of the BFE, Otto John, fled to the GDR. Shortly after that it became public that a number of employees of the BFE had been with the Gestapo during the Third Reich. Nevertheless, material on the Communist Party of Germany was essential for banning the party by the Federal Constitutional Court of Germany in August 1956. Over the years, a number of associations and political groups were banned on the basis of materials provided by the BFE. Since 1972 the BFE is also concerned with activities of foreign nationals in Germany. Especially extremists and terrorists who operate in the country or plan their activities there, such as the Kurdistan Workers' Party. One of the major intelligence failures in this field were the riots by supporters of the PKK in 1998, which the BFE missed due to the Cologne Carnival. The counterintelligence activities of the BFE were mostly directed against the East German Ministry for State Security, another employer of ex-Gestapo agents. The MFS successfully penetrated the BFE and in a number of affairs destroyed its reputation as a counterintelligence service by the early 1980s. In this, the MFS profited from the West German border regime which allowed any GDR citizen into the Federal Republic without restrictions. The failure to detect the activities of the 9-11 conspirators in Germany raised questions about the BFE's capability. The rise of right-wing extremism in Germany, especially in the former GDR, was also partly blamed on the failure to establish working structures there. The agency was heavily criticized for the destruction of files related to the National Socialist Underground, a neo-Nazi terror group which led to the resignation of its president Heinz Fromm in 2012. Thanks for watching.